Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mr. Mises here with Logarithmic Functions. All right, so this is just going to be a pre-calc review of logarithmic functions just to get us going right before we talk about derivatives and integrals. So recall that the uh, log function, the log function is a inverse. It's the inverse of the function e to the x. So the natural log function is the inverse function of e to the x, a log base you know, log base a is the inverse of an exponential function. All right, so uh, how do these graphs look? Well, they basically look like this. So you just need to know how to draw these guys. And they kind of all do that thing like this, okay? They pretty much all do that, natural log and log. So they have a domain of zero to infinity, a range of negative infinity to infinity, and um, a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. They're continuous, concave downward forever, and one to one. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at these graphs in my calculator, just so you can see it, take a look at what ln x looks like and log base 10. Now, if there's no, if there's no um, base there, that's a base 10, okay? So no base is base 10. Let's take a look in the calculator. Calculator here, now I'm first gonna draw ln x, so I'm gonna hit control, e to the x, that gives me my ln, and that's x, and there we go. And then I'm going to hit another one, so let's do another one. And we're going to hit control log. Now here I can put a base 10, or I can just leave it alone, and it'll automatically know it's a base 10. And we'll do that. So notice here that the base 10 flattens out. So ln is a base e, e is about 2.7, so uh, the, the smaller the number, the kind of like less bent this is going to get. It's going to get less bent up here. And then the bigger the number for the base, the more bent, the closer it is going to get to our x-axis. All right. So that's just basic log graphs. Let's take a look at some more stuff here. There's kind of a lot of stuff to talk about here. So um, give me a second to go through all this stuff. All right. So example two, without using a calculator, sketch the graph of y equals ln x minus 2. So ln ln x looks like this, all right? This is just ln x. Minus 2 means I'm going to shift it over two units this way. So instead of being at 1, it's going to now be at 3, right there. And instead of this being at 0, the asymptote being at 0, it's going to be at 2. It's going to asymptote like this, all right? So it's going to be like this now. And then the absolute value takes anything that's in the bottom and flips it up on top. So I'm going to have something that looks like this, and that'll be my graph. All right, so just a little bit of step-by-step -step graphing there. And we've got a change of form. So if we want to go from our base formula, our exponential form, to the logarithmic form, we're just going to switch, and we're going to go log base A of X equals the power. All right, so let's go and change these in, from exponential logarithm. So exponential to logarithm logarithm form we're going to go log base 3 of 81 equals the exponent which is 4 log base e is ln okay log base e so i'll just write that step down log base e of 1 equals 0 so i'll write that as ln ln of 1 equals 0. Okay, log base, this says change the following equations from exponential to log, or vice versa, or vice versa. So this time we're going to go to exponential. All right, so this is log base what? I said earlier, what is it? What is it? What is it? It's 10. There you go. Equals negative 1. So log base 10, so it's base 10. The power was over here, so that's negative 1 equals 0.1. All right, so that's what you get there. So that's how just to change it from exponential to logarithm. All right, next uh, example here. Again, this is a lot A lot of this I'm going pretty quickly because it is all review, or should be review, from pre-calc. So since e to the 0 equals 1, ln of 1 is equal to 0, right? Because we switched it. If e to the 1 is e, then ln of e is 1 because this goes right there. All right, so these are some basic rules here that you're going to want to be able to follow 
later on. See, ln of e to the n, the ln of e kind of cancel, they kind of, can they don't really cancel out, um, but you're going to end up with n. If you have e to the ln of n, you're going to end up with just the, what's in the inside n. So this is another kind of rule here that you can use later on to simplify things. All right, so these are, these are from inverse ideas. So let's take a look at these inverse ideas. So what's going on? ln of e, those are inverses, so we're just going to be left with square root 2. That's it. e to the ln of 3x, these guys are inverses, so we're just going to be left with 3x. 10 to the log base 10, log base 10 and 10 are inverses, so we're just going to be left with 2. And log base 2 of 2, okay, log base 2 of 2 to the x squared, these are inverses, so we're just going to be left with x squared. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's take a look at some logarithmic properties. So some properties of logarithms that you're going to need to know in calculus, that the multiply, if I have the natural log or the log, either way, of two things multiplied, I can separate them into two things that are added together, two natural logs added together. If the inside is divided, then I can separate it by a subtraction. And if I have an ln raised to a power, I can bring that power to the front and multiply it by the, the log. All right, so let's take a look at some examples. ln of 5 eighths, well, I'm using this one right here. So I'm going to have ln of 5 minus ln of 8. All right, that's what it means by expand. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to change this to ln of x squared plus 1 cubed, I'm sorry, to the one-third power. Now I can use this third rule right here, this third rule, and bring the power to the front. And notice there is a plus. They're not multiplied, so i got to leave it like this. Okay, only, I can only separate it if it's multiplied. All right, condense into a single logarithm. Condensing means I'm going to put it together. So look, this time I'm going to bring anything that's outside the log and bring it up as a power. So ln of x to the negative third plus ln of y to the fifth. And now that I have them added, I can use this addition property and I can have it as one logarithm x to the negative third times y to the fifth. All right, there you go. So we'll do this for this one here. So we're going to have ln of, bring this to the top there, x to the 1 half, plus, I can't do anything to this x plus 1 ln, minus ln of y to the third. So I brought this up here. Since I have a plus between these two, I'm going to multiply those guys together, x to the 1 half times x plus 1. And then since I have a minus in between there, I'm going to divide those and put them in 1. Divided by y cubed. All right, and that's my answer right there. All right, so that's simplifying, condensing, expanding logarithms. Let's take a look at another logarithmic thing. That you, and again, you probably did this in like, like a one or two units in pre-calculus, and I'm just doing them in one short video here. Uh, but these are all things that you got to, to review from pre-calc. So solve for x. So to solve an exponential for x, we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. Then we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Some of you are like, oh, I remember that. If you take the natural log of both sides, the ln of e is just going to give you this top part. Then you're going to add 5 and divide by 2. So you're going to get x equals ln of y minus 6 plus 5 divided by 2. Bam. All right. Remember that? Do you remember? You remember. Okay. Some of you do, some of you don't. All right, let's take a look at here. This is a lot of, I tell you guys, this is a lot of stuff. Now look, we've got log, log. If we got a log that's separated by a minus, we're going to take the two things inside and divide them together and put them into one logarithm. So log base 2 of x over x minus 8 equals 3. And here I'm going to use the change formula. So I'm going to say base 2 power 3 equals x over x minus 8. Right, so we get a, 8, 8, 8, 
8 <laughs> equals x over 8. Multiply both sides by x minus 8. So I'm going to get 8x minus 64 equals x. Sippity doo da. 7x equals 64. x equals 64 sevenths. All right? All right, there you go. Checks out fine. Let's get going to the next thing. All right, last up here, um, using the calculator. So in sometimes using the calculator, if you do not have a graphing calculator that's up to date, then you got to use this, what we call a change of base formula. So log base A of X is log base B of X over log base B of A. So you just basically take, you can just take them and put them as LNs. So you take LN of whatever's inside and divide it by ln of the base of a. That's the easiest thing to do. Now, you don't need to do this in your calculator more because calculators can actually do these things in your calculator. Even a TI-84 uh, will be able to do this in your calculator. You just got to update the operating system. So what I'm telling you to do, update your operating system. So check this out. Here's what you do. So we'll go to our calculator menu. We want to use the calculator to find log. So we do control log 7, base of 7 of 112. I'm going to hit control enter to give me an approximation. It's 2.425. 2.425. All right. That's all there is to it. All right. That's all you got to do for that. So number 10. Find an exact value. Now, an exact value, um, since this is not a power of 3, we're going to take the ln of both sides. So ln of 3x plus 2 equals ln of 6. And then this can come down here. And we're going to have x plus 2 times ln of 3 equals ln of 6. x ln of 3 plus 2 ln of 3 equals ln of 6. Okay, I factored this in here. Subtract this one over. And I'm going to get um, x ln 3 equals ln 6 minus 2 ln 3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by ln 3. Okay, you can do that way. Um, or let me give you just another option you could do if you want to do it this way. You take and convert this to log base 3 of 6 equals x plus 2. And then subtract 2. You're going to say, man, that's a whole lot easier. Yes, that is a whole lot easier. Um, but I've seen it where you kind of have to do that the whole way through. So, um, you know, you got calculators that can do that now, so that would work. Use your calculator to find a decimal value for answer part A to three or more places. So that's pretty easy, right? We're just going to go and do, use our calculator to find, you know, I guess the first method or the second method probably was better because um, it's easier to deal with this one in our calculator since we can do any base. Control enter it on a TI Inspire and you get negative 0.369. Okay, so there you go folks. These are just some stuff that you're going to need to be able to remember on um, logarithms for uh, from pre-calculus for calculus. Have a good day. We'll see you soon. Bye.